guys what's up earth signs thanks for watching appreciate it so we're gonna do a love reading we're gonna see what's coming up next in love i will timestamp it below by sign so in addition to seeing what's coming up next we're gonna get some truth oracle some messages from your person and some advice from the romance angels so remember it is a general reading just take what's yours leave the rest behind also remember that the energies can always be reversed if it does resonate please make sure that you like and subscribe below also if you like to contact me for a personal reading that's below as well all right so we're going to start with taurus what's coming up next in love for taurus please uh the devil popped out could be a uh, capricorn but you also have the five of wands, so somebody could be struggling with anything from the past, toxic behaviors, insecurities. All right, what's coming up next for Taurus in love? The Ten of Swords, there could have been an ending, and somebody's still sitting there waiting. The things have kind of been at a crossroads just stuck stuck all right what's coming up in love for Taurus, please yeah you got somebody spying somebody could have like went through somebody's phone messages or just doing some checking up um a lot of a lot of anxiety a lot of restlessness all right Taurus, what's coming up in love you got the king of cups could be dealing with the water sign crossed by the four of swords and we're ending with your energy could be dealing with another um earth sign as possible what's crossing it is the four of swords so the four of swords is about healing it's about finding some type of like peaceful vibe energy but it's not necessarily over here even if you're not dealing with the water sign like it's not always the most ambitious energy oh it's interesting because it looks like this person wants to come back to create some type of peace like uh make something right between you and it, it it's gonna you're gonna go for it is how it's looking with the night with the nine of wands and the two of wands there may have been some challenges that you know had to be kind of overcame but the choice to move forward is here this may have taken a while with the four of swords it's possible you know that things could have even been rough but not even necessarily because um the four of swords is about healing but it looks like you have a pretty deep connection um for some it could be like a family situation somebody trying to come back for some because it's been the silence or just try to move forward with the nine of wands yeah this person has a lot of feelings for you with the nine of wands though it, it's it's like you're overcoming something though like something may have tried to you could just be tired may have tried to knock you back but you are trying to move forward for some there's like a proposal or an offer of like commitment coming soon as well all right so what does Taurus need to know currently around this connection? All right, so you have the past. The past is causing blocks in the present. You also have unstable. There are many issues that need solving. And apprehensive, uncertainty uncertainty about the future of the connection so it feels like there's there's like a conversation or something like uh, something like that that has to be had it's not necessarily here but it, it's i mean it could be coming communication didn't necessarily come back this is more of an action feelings are definitely real what does this person want to say to taurus the person that is on their mind please what does a person on Taurus's mind want to say? Can we go back to how things used to be? What does this person want to say to Taurus, please? This isn't working for me anymore. What does this 
first I'm going to say to Taurus, please. You are mine. So there may be something that kind of has to be smoothed over. One more for Taurus, please. Nope, that wasn't where it is. I'm sorry, I'm just not ready. So there's almost like a sense of like hesitation. But with the blue here, um, that is about communication and like a conversation, listening, body language, not talking over one another. It's in general, it's like gaining an understanding. All right, so what is your advice, please, for Taurus? You have to give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and you also have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Advice for Taurus, please. It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, and also true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, Taurus. So I hope that helped. I hope it resonated. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is down below. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. Also, if it did resonate. All right. So Virgo, what's coming up next in love, please, for Virgo? In the strength card, Leo energy, also the Hierophant, Taurus energy. I was like, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's somebody who's wanting something, but I can't. I'm not necessarily sure that they're like speaking on it. All right, Virgo, what's coming up next in love for Virgo, please? got the knight of pentacles that's your energy could be dealing with another earth sign but this is slow and steady yeah this seems like something that may have taken taken some time there may have been a distance a wait and for some there's been like a hold back of communication and that's stressing somebody out or, you know something interpreted wrong all right so virgo you got the judgment crossed by the temperance and oh and you're ending with the Seven of Swords. So we are going to clarify. This is backwards. In essence. I mean, it's, it's life, so it doesn't have to make sense. But you got the judgment crossed by the temperance, right? This is somebody who's made a decision, had some type of awakening. It's And it's crossed by the temperance. So it's almost like there's, there's something that's been resolved. The decision has been made. There's healing around it. So then when we end with the Seven of Swords... That can be a sneaky energy. Yeah, you got this King of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. There's a whole lot of change. You've healed from something. You put boundaries, limits, things like that. This King of Wands, though, can be one of those sweet-talking kind of energies. You got the Seven of Swords, the Hangman. Well, the feelings are here, but this is something kind of getting on pause. Uh, could be dealing with the Pisces. But with the Seven of Swords there, that can sometimes be a sneaky energy. So over here, it's like this enlightenment, this decision, and there's been healing. There's been change, whether you you close the situation or things just kind of got better. You got the two of cups, the three of swords. Somebody may not have let go of something that it almost appeared like they let go of. Their ego, their pride is at play. Remember, it's a general reading, but as soon as we got all this healing and all this closure and change created and awakenings, for the outcome, you got the Seven of Swords, the Hangman. It looks like somebody's holding on to something still. Like there's still feelings or something um, kind of still there in the background. All right, Virgo. Let's see what, what does Virgo need to know or currently around this connection. Well, that came out pretty quickly. You have confined, feeling trapped in this connection. And then you also have letting go, relate, releasing relationship to focus on self. So we went from confined 
to letting go and we have all this healing all this change over here and then this pops back up this is this is kind of a setback on progress even if that's just within self what does Virgo need to know around this connection please power couple building an empire is within reach for you and also speak up time to be honest about the way you feel all right Virgo so let's get some messages from the person that is on your mind what does this person want to say to Virgo please messages from the person on Virgo's mind yeah if I need you to step up that and I, I worded it wrong when I made this deck. They they want you to tell them how you feel. They're not sure where you're feeling, how you're where you're standing. Then you have did I do something wrong and call me. So this person wants to talk to you. Um and they want to know where you're at. But what did I did I do something wrong? It's almost like it pulls me back to when I said ego or pride. Like somebody may not even kind of legitimately see something or like be aware and sometimes that can be like um really caught up in self i think you deserve better all right so let's get some advice for virgo please this is from the romance angels what is your advice for virgo you have codependency Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Advice, please, for Virgo. You also have soulmate. Yes, this is, ooh, this is your soulmate. And you also have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And it already looks like you are on your way. So be aware of what is worth your energy. All right, Virgo, I hope that helped. I hope it resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, so Capricorn. What is coming up around love for Capricorn, please? What's coming up next around love for Capricorn? Well, looks like you're taking chances there. There's something that you're going towards, but there may be like a sense of, I can't tell if it's hesitation or, you know, maybe more guard. Oh, you're keeping a whole lot in. This person has no clue how you feel. You may not be saying much. It could be in general you're more like uh, guarded or, you know, just keeping feelings in at the moment. All right, cards for Capricorn. What's coming up around love? All right, let's get it. Worry, worry. All right, you got the Justice card, Libra Energy, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, something, there could be a legal situation, but something's trying to work itself out. And it looks like somebody is discovering, like, you're discovering, like, something new about yourself. This is a heavy energy, though. The Justice is all about balance and compromise. And when it comes around that, you have the Five of Cups crossing it, and we're ending with the Three of Swords. There's a lot of pain around the situation, maybe even um, distance separation. You got the three of pentacles. There's in the knight of pentacles. There's a slow recovery here, and it's not happening at the moment. You have three threes here. So threes are about initial success, but in this situation, it, it's almost like threes a crowd or somebody's some, something's not kind of like getting on its game here because it. it it takes it takes both sides like make an effort but something here when it comes if there is a legal situation somebody could be real embarrassed around that but it almost feels like somebody is also carrying some 
it's almost like guilt that's not yours to carry. It's almost like something wasn't balanced, but it's coming across like you feel bad about that. Something lets you down. This person is really missing you, but it feels like you're kind of, you know, there there is some type of distance or separation that's there. Yeah, it feels like you're focusing on yourself right now. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of being single um, and kind of putting yourself first, your highest good. There's something really drawn, and it has been since I laid out the cards, about the reflection, like noticing something about self or within self. All right, so what is the what does Capricorn need to know right now around love? Currently for Capricorn, what is what do they need to know? All right, you have speak up. Time to be honest about the way that you feel. What does Capricorn need to know, please? You also have games, playing games to keep your attention. You have ashamed, embarrassed about past behavior. That's this Five of Cups um, energy as well. And avoiding, refusing to accept the reality of this connection. So let's get some messages from the person that is on your mind. What does this person want to say to Capricorn, please? Messages for Capricorn from the one that is on your mind. All right, ready when you are. Thank you. Yeah, this isn't working for me anymore. I didn't mean to hurt you. You have, I didn't mean to hurt you again. So when I made this deck, I made it so it could be like um, double confirmation. So I didn't mean to hurt you is here twice. That, that could definitely be guilt and regret and things like that. And, and there is pain that's caused. Like it's definitely recognized. Laying next to you takes my fears away. Let's get one more please for Capricorn. And this isn't working for me anymore again. So that's kind of came out twice. These are, um, it's a, it's almost like something's got to give. Something's got to change. Uh, either, you know, sometimes that can be within self, within the connection. It's, it's, take it how it applies. Let's get um, advice, please, from the Romance Angels for Capricorn. Okay, advice for Capricorn right now for love, please. You have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So it's almost like when it feels good, it feels really good. You also have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and both of these images they kind of look a whole lot alike so it may be something or some sorry someone like in particular or a scenario give your relationship a chance work on your partnership and also calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together as long as you clearly decide what it is that you want. All right, Earth signs. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.